Once kickoff happens, we have six weeks, and it's the six-week uh, rush to kind of get ready uh, on, on all fronts. We have a limited amount of time to build a robot, obviously, and um, the main thing is just whatever we have to do, whatever we can do. Right now, we I would say we are a week behind because of snow days and stuff, but as far as our plans and our ideas and what we want to do, I feel like we're on track with that. It's like a track race. If you've seen like Usain Bolt run, it's like the 100 meter dash. You gotta get everything done within those certain amount of weeks. And once you get there, it's all smooth sailing. Looks like we're way behind and we always get most of it done close to on time. How are we going to accomplish this? Mark my words, by the end of uh, build season, we always accomplish it. There's actually quite a few challenges this year. Having lost the week due to bad weather, it's put a lot of pressure on if we can actually get the prototype and our different, different parts done. Because the parts are very crucial to every single piece of like the chassis and to the end game and to like picking up any piece that we need throughout the entire round. So it's definitely made us kind of stressed, but I think we still can make it through. What are the objectives that we want our robot to do? So do we want to have a robot that can intake and score on two sides? The same side? Do we want it to be able to climb shallow or deep? Do we want it to do the easy climb or the hard climb? Should it be able to throw it into the barge? What kind of things are worth it, basically? They tried to form groups, you know, to build chassis and bumpers and uh, pickup mechanism, lifting mechanism, whatever. But as you get closer and closer to the build, they, did, they have to merge together because Sometimes you both need the same space. You got to work together. You know, it's just like the, the plumber and the electrician and the air conditioning guy. You know, it's you got to work together to make it all fit together in that space. For a robot, one of the things it does to know where its position on the field is it has to detect things that are called April tags around the field. So April tags are these little like QR code kind of things that when the robot detects them, it can figure out its distance from those tags. This year, they pla they're placed on a bunch of different heights, like really high, really low, you know? So it's really hard to get cameras that can um, effectively detect all the tags at multiple positions. There are many parts for that design comes up with that have crazy dimensions. We need to make sure that there's like correct spacing, making sure that it's rotational, everything's working. At this point, it's week four, so our CAD is all done, which we're really happy about because it's, it's time consuming. But now we are officially all building, which is really exciting. We're working on our chassis right now. We got the base chassis built. We don't have a floor pan, but we have like our swerve modules in. We have the battery located. We have the very basic things like that. We never have been like the most financially gifted team. There's a lot of teams who have more money than us, but obviously we get what we have when we use the the, the wood that's already drilled in, or the metal that has a bunch of holes in it, or the, the old drill bit that doesn't really drill right, but it'll get the job done. They're building three versions of the robot, so they keep iterating on one robot, they give one robot for us to play, play around with, and then they like swap it around. We will take apart last year's robot. As soon as we're done nuding it, we'll probably take it apart and just use the parts off of it, because like those are valuable and we need them. In build season, it goes, uh, like it, it's a process basically. It goes from design to fabrication to programming. We are that middle group, and what we do is that we make those parts and basically hand off the robot to programming. So it is our job to make sure that everything's realistic and all those parts are actually working. Well, this year we need to be able to place things really high, so we need our placing mechanism on a lifting mechanism. So we decided on a gripper and an elevator for both those tasks respectively. The elevator was like one of our priorities. That's what we want on the robot first because everything mounts to it. The whole elevator's on the robot, the frame and everything. We're just working on like belting it and like we need some sensors and like the gearbox to give it power and everything. Our biggest concerns are probably the elevator derailing because it's um, ran through with a belt. We do object detection as well. So we train our own computer vision models to detect game pieces and stuff. This year we decided to go for a bigger chassis. So all these little complex things that have to work together, spacing, it's if we put an elevator on this side, you also need to have all your other weight on this side to balance it out. The robot's gonna be very heavy, so the hanger has to lift the entire robot 
and we're just trying to make sure that like it's actually able to like have enough like force on itself so it's actually able to lift up the entire pound of the robot. Within the prototype stage, we kind of have to focus on making sure that even though it's a prototype, it still needs to translate well when it's the actual robot. We have to think about where it would actually be placed on the robot. That's the actual fact on why we have many different prototypes because we started with a very simple version of the hanger, but then we kind of thought about making a version that could also work with another part of the piece, like picking up a, picking up a ball. We are currently in the, um, basically in the middle of installing our drivetrain and uh, the base electrical components. From a business perspective, the build process is like a time where you have to start like finding more companies and you gotta be like, oh wait, we need uh, these amount of parts, we need these specific uh, sponsors for these specific events, like for transportation, for food services. A lot of our effort is streamlined into awards because this is the time where we not only prep our three main impact presenters, but we also um, prepare all of our documents, uh, essay, uh, impact essay, Woody Flowers essay, all to submit, uh, you know, to the judges there. So we are finishing up design and already starting to put various modules together so we can pretty soon start marrying it all together. It's like, I'll make a part and we'll work with all these parts, build up all these individual parts over however many weeks and then it'll just be one Saturday or it'll just be one day where all of those parts get put together and then we have a robot. Or just like, 